POC Link sent me two radios. Here's one. Here's the other. These are POC Push to Talk over cellular. And I've talked about POC radios in the past a little bit. And I'm going to give you the reason why I like these more than some others in the past I've seen. So uh, let's, um, let's take a look. These are the radios themselves. They're pretty small compared to... Oh, there's my smartphone right there. So pretty small, quote, radios. They've got the power button here at the top. Push to talk over here. This is the volume up and down on the side. They are USB-C rechargeable right there on the bottom. Belt clip. And you can put a standard K-connector headset in the side here. So they work pretty well that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now the question is... How far will these reach? So, I don't like these asshat companies that try to sell you an off-grid device that requires a SIM card. And that's not what this company is doing. So, they sent me an email. They said they wanted to send me these radios for free, which they did. And I asked them about the service plan. And they said, well, the, the first year is free, but there is a $50 per year service fee for coverage after that. And they were upfront about it. They were upfront about it. And I'm like, okay, that's that's fair. Okay, where else are you going to get a cell phone for 50 bucks a year? So, first year free, you buy the radios. It comes with one year of global coverage. And after the first year, you have to upgrade, or you don't have to upgrade. You can turn them off, I guess, if you want to. But after the first year, you have to pay again. So, here is a brochure. This is what they send to their content creators. Nationwide global coverage, as long as there's a cellular network. They say it right there up front, as long as there's a cellular network. Okay, so they are upfront and open and honest about that. You can instantly connect to family, kids, friends, team members, push a button, U.S., Mexico, Canada, U.K., France, and other countries. They partner with 99% of global carriers, allowing devices to automatically switch to a stronger network if the carrier goes down. This ensures uninterrupted communications. If you go to their website... POClink.com. I'll put a, a description below. It will be an affiliate link. And we can go to global Explore Global pan, Plan from the top. And you can scroll down here. You can see all the companies. Free global plan. Free for the first year. In Europe, North America, Europe, Oceania, Australia, Asia, Africa. And then the premium glo global plan unlocks all these other countries. So you can pay more money for that. That's a lot of countries right there. POC works not only in the U.S., but also multiple countries without extra fees. A lot of times you have to pay roaming on your cell phone. Private with AES encryption. POC is the only POC radio currently supporting the Bluetooth mode. It comes with exclusive Bluetooth headset accessories for more convenient. I did not get the Bluetooth set headset, but that's all right. I, will, uh, I might look at that later. No complex setup or programming required. 3,000 milliamp hour battery. To change your group or username, please send your device's IMEI number to this email address. And that was the uh, that was the question I had about some other brands that I was looking at. Is like, okay, they name the they name the the user. Each each radio is named user one, user two, or something like that. Let me show you what this one's named here. All right, so right here you see this one's called user fifteen. This one's user sixteen, and group is group eight. I go to menu, group group list. Group 8. So what does Group 8 mean? What does that mean? I don't know. So you can create a group in here. Go back here. Menu. Okay. And scroll down. Create group. Join group. So you got a buddy with, with something like that. You can create a group. I, I might try to create a group. We'll see. But the user 15 and user 16, I, I thought that, you know, th they don't know what you want it named. So that's what they named it. And you can send an email to get the group name or the user change. So that's good. That's good. But what I have always said from the beginning, communications 24-7. Communications 24-7, okay? Services like Starlink and your smartphone. Your smartphone is an excellent MCOM tool if you have coverage. You should always have a smartphone with you. If you're going camping, you're going hiking, you're going out into the non-populated areas, take your smartphone. And if you lose coverage, then have a backup, a radio, a POC radio, a regular radio, Starlink, some sort of 
nomad internet device or something like that. But your smartphone can always be an MCOM tool as long as you have coverage. These require a network just like your smartphone does, but the better thing about these is they work on multiple networks. So inside the United States, the big three networks is Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. My smartphone is on AT&T. And if I get out of a coverage, if I get into an area that does not have good AT&T coverage, such as the Texas Snowmageddon of 2021, where they basically turned off AT&T to the general public so that first responders and first net users could use it. Okay. And I didn't, and I would send a text message to my wife and she might get it about 20 minutes later. Couldn't make a phone call at all. Couldn't check my email, but my Verizon tablet worked just fine. No problems there. So Verizon didn't do that, but AT&T did. That was, that was in one area during one storm at one point in time. It's not going to work like that all the time. But these would have worked if AT&T was down, then it would have said, okay, what's the strongest signal, Verizon or T-Mobile? And in other countries, it would pick, pick other carriers. You can see a whole list of carriers on their website. Always have some sort of communications available. Always have something available. POC, regular radio. I'd never be without my... I would not trade in my ICOM or Yezu for this. But I might carry this with me as an added feature, as an added means of communication in the field, on road trips, on overseas trips, if I can, to keep in touch with people who are on my network. I'm going to take these out into the field. I'm going to take these up to the hunting lease, which I'll be there in a couple of days from now. And I'm going to set one up and drive to the other side of the lease and talk into it and let you guys see what it looks like and uh, try to use it out there where there's cell coverage, but not great cell coverage and kind of see how they work. So I will put a link for everything in the description below, but let's check out and see what they look like in the field. Here I have them here out in the woods. This is at my hunting lease. Now, we're about an hour and a half north of where I live in Grapevine, roughly. So this is not the most remote location that you can get to. And I tried using these things at Big Bend National Park when my wife and I took vacation there just a couple of weeks ago, and they did not work. Could not get a signal. So we were out of cell phone range during that time. And that's just what you have to bear in mind with these POC radios. However, they seem to be working here just fine. I'm going to take one in the back here. All right, so you see right there. All right, so you see right there. That it is that at the top left of the corner of the screen. It's got a blue text right now. That says uh, that th says, what the name uh, of the radio the is. I'm transmitting the radio from. Is I'm transmitting from. I'm going to let go, and it's going to say idle at the top of that screen right there. And then I'm going to key up. And then I'm going to key up. And it turns blue, and, and it, it says user blue, 16 says or user something. User 16 or something. Yeah, user 16 is what I'm transmitting from. So right here, let's get into the shade because. <laughs> can't really see much out here all right so user 16 there i'm going to key up right there and we're going to see that so i'm going to put the camera back over here while i walk over and show you guys what's going on there okay i've got the radio set up on the table right here i've got the second one in my hand and we're going to walk out this direction i'm going to walk away from the camera Walking away from the camera. Camera audio still has me. One, two. One, two. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Now. Now. I'll be able to walk away like this. I'll be able to walk away like this. This is not a range test. This is not a range test. Because unlike a real radio. Because unlike a real radio. This radio you're listening to. This radio you're listening to right now. Has to go up to the cell site. Has to go up to the cell make site. Make a connection. And make a connection. The and then come back to the radio I'm talking from. I'm talking vice from. Vice versa. I right now I'm transmitting. I right now I'm transmitting from the radio in my hand. The signal's going out and to it, the, the cell signal's side. going out to the cell side. It has a timeout timer. What do you know? It has a timeout timer. What do you know? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. So it went out to the. Uh, so it cell went out to the uh, cell side and it's coming back to the radio that's right there in front of the camera that you're listening to. Camera right that now. you're listening to right now. Unlike a real radio, where if you were talking between two actual radios. The signal would go from here to here and back and forth and wouldn't need a cell site in between to make them work, to let them talk to, receive, and transmit between one another. So, now, does that make these bad? No. I'm just demonstrating a difference of how these work as compared to how 
actual radios that transmit RF worked. And you could argue these are transmitting RF. They're transmitting the same type of RF that a cell phone transmits, and they require a cell tower in between them to hear each other. So the next experiment, I was just driving out here today. I told you I was going to do an experiment out here in the woods. Tomo uh, later this week, we're driving to the Moore Expo for an overland show in Springfield, Missouri. About a six, six and a half hour drive from my home in Texas. And I'm going to leave one of these at home, and I'm going to take one with me. And once we get there, I'm going to tell my wife to pick one up. And uh, we're going to have a small, short conversation over these from Sp Springfield, Missouri, back to Grapevine, Texas, and see how that works. That's going to be the final test for them. So like I've said in other videos, and I think I said at the beginning of this one, although I have to go, <laughs> I have to go watch that again to see what I actually said. This is a great tool if you want to have a group of people and they all want to get one of these and you can talk to the group at, at the same time rather than key, uh, rather than picking up your cell phone and talking to one person at a time and having to dial a separate number for every person. And these work on all carriers. So your smartphone probably just has one SIM card from AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon, whoever it is, if you're in the USA. And these will work on all carriers. And, they're, and for 50 bucks a year, how can you really go wrong? But I did want to test them. I just like to call a spade a spade and say, look, these work in this environment, but not in that environment and that kind of thing. And I really appreciate the advertising that POC Link does on these. And they, they tell you up front legit what they will and won't do. And uh, truth in advertising is always a strong thing. So the next test is going to be between Springfield, Missouri and Grapevine, Texas. So stick around. And uh, that's what we're going to do right now. Galveston, 
and she left about an hour before I did because I had some things to do that morning. So when I left, maybe an hour and a half later, she had one of these radios and I had one and we talked on the way down there to just kind of let each other know where we were and what time we'd get there and that kind of good stuff. So they're very useful as long as you're in cell range and you're using them and you're in a greater distance than what your Simplex radio can work. They seem to work quite well. So thanks to POC Link for sending me these. They do work well. I'll put a link in the description below. I think they're offering me a coupon and if so, I'll put that down in the description below also. So 73 guys, thanks for watching.